Challenge Roth is celebrating its 10th anniversary. Tri-Center starts now. Welcome to Tri-Center, I'm Ann Wessling. One of the most exciting races of the year is just days away. The 10th anniversary of the Challenge Roth Triathlon will feature over 5,000 athletes from 61 countries. They will swim, bike, and run through Roth with the support of over 150,000 German fans. This year's race will include 64 professional athletes with two-time defending champion Chrissy Wellington highlighting the field. Each of the last two years, Wellington has broken the record for fastest iron distance race by a female, and the odds are she'll do it again this year. To do that, she'll have to go faster than her 2010 finishing time of 8.19.13. We chatted with Wellington right after the first time she broke the record back in 2009 about what makes Roth so special. It's got great history. So many athletes speak incredibly highly of the race. Uh, the organization is perfect and the fact that it's in Germany meant that many of my friends and family could come over to support which really gave me a huge huge boost and of course it's 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 a fast course and that that can only add to the excitement. Wellington doesn't have a guaranteed victory she'll face tough competition from athletes like Katrina Morrison and Rebecca Keat the big name in the men's race will be Andreas Raylert. Although the German has yet to compete in the Ironman event necessary to qualify for October's Ironman World Championship, he is choosing to make the start in Roth. His biggest competition will come from two rising stars in German Sebastian Kienle and South African James Kanama. What is it that makes challenge races like this one so special? Bob Babbitt caught up with Challenge Family CEO Felix Walshofer back in October to find out. I think it's because it's a people's event, you know, that the whole uh, county and the whole uh, metropolitan area of Nuremberg, they yeah. are fully behind the event. They love it. Uh, they love to cheer on the first, but also on the last ones to, to come in and uh, they turn out um, in, in big masses every year with 150,000 total. And on Solar Hill, our uh, big hotspot, it's yes. about 50,000 people every 50, year. 50,000 right yeah. up on that hill. Yeah. And it's like the Tour de France when people come it through, definitely is, yeah. people are right up on top of the cycles. Yeah, it's like the Red Sea. Oh, uh, the, the Red Sea opening when the athletes wow. come, it's, it's really exciting. That's our show for today. We'll see you next time with a full recap from Raw. Thanks for watching. Whoa, those are some guns! <laughs> I'm wearing red, white, and blue. How about you?